Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will try to learn about subroutine call instruction. How we can use the subroutine call instruction in Mitsubishi PLC. But before start this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This way you will be never miss my upcoming videos. So let's get started. I will open my GX Works 2 software and here we will we will create first take the x0 input for example and with this x0 input we will also can be here and also can it here use no problem and after this one we will use the call instruction c a double l when we write the call pulse from set number of assignments but he say and after he say device name of this call instruction pointer p which pointer you have to be used for example this is first pointer i will use p1 for example this call p1 when you write after click it okay and here simply we will make a small program which is we like to be execute with this call instruction for example x1 or 2 any i can choose and here any of the output we will be make it execute by zero and here is a one another instruction that name f e n d when you write it here double click and when you write f e n d that's meaning number of arguments f e n d when you write after click enter f e n d means one is the number of end instruction and instruction means this is your the last line of your program which is the first of and this which program is running this program will be scanned by plc but uh, one more instruction that's name f and f and means temporary end temporary end means this end is last end and but you have to be work this one for example in this area this lines how many lines if you like to make you can make i choose just only one line after this temporary end i need to be one more extra program which is i controlled by call instruction p1 and here double click just and you write p1 after you will get the instruction this p1 and after this p1 instruction i need a one more program for example two lines three lines x3 for example i choose and i need to y0 or y4 sorry y0 is already we used we use this one y3 for example and this instruction will be used by this call instruction when we call this p1 after our this x3 and y3 will be work otherwise this will be not work but this program will be work of the first end f e n d meanings first end this is the last end and this is the first end this program will be work at here and after this p1 this program will be no work when work when we give the signal of the x0 and call to the p1 after our work program will be work after that p1 lines and here next we have to be must that return program have to be given when you double click it here and s e r t when you like means set return yani this you have to be choose sorry s r e t this is i uh, type wrong s r e t when you means s return yani return the program s r e t p1 instruction after this s r e t s 
and click enter because of once you use this call instruction after you have to be give back feedback to the call function this program finished already scanned and i need to be return this one so we will check physically we will compile this program first and write to the plc and let's check how it's work must be stop the cpu first manually also you can stop at the from the cpu and also here remotely also you can stop the plc because of in mitsubishi plc he must stop the plc after this he will write the program otherwise no write the program and compilation also is the manual this is not auto compiled and go to the monitor and start monitoring and now i will for example just give the directly signal first i will give to the x2 this is my x2 now see why zero is properly running nothing have any problem because of this is the first and program first and program is properly running but if we use this one x3 for example this will be no work now x3 see y3 is not work because why not working because of this is we not call make to the p1 as we give the call to the p1 i will give just x0 first signal I will give the X zero signal. See now is my X zero is ready, and now this call instruction is ready to P one. And now when I give the P three signal, see my Y three is now on, because of this call instruction is ready to P one. And otherwise, if I remove this signal from the X zero, now I removed the signal, and now if I give the give signal, but X zero. signal is coming but our output will be not on because of this call is not ready so how much program you long can be make it here after this p1 this program will be when work when you give the signal to the x0 and you can use m0 internal memory also you can use and external hardware also you can use so this way you can use your subroutine call function is a very easy method if not understand anything you can send me in a message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz